Hello, and welcome to the GBC Productions channel. This is episode 93. In this video, I will be taking apart an ionizing smoke detector. This one is also made by First Alert, like the one in the previous video. Now looking at the ratings on this one, it's about twice the sensitivity of the previous smoke detector. This is the one from the previous video. So the photoelectric one's about half as sensitive. Here's the battery compartment for the battery backup and the test button. It hooks up much the same way as the other smoke detector does. Now to get inside of this thing, I think it's very much like the other one with some little clips. I'll get a little tool here to try to pry them. Yeah, it's coming apart. One more clip right here, and it's open. There's the battery tray, and it's got a little lockout to prevent you from closing it without a battery in there. And this is the ionizer that's detecting the smoke. It's got a radiation symbol on it. When we get further in this, I'll bring in an old Geiger counter and we'll see if we can read anything off of it. Now this circuit board should lift out. There's a couple of clips. I'll have to pry the battery terminals out. I'm going to pause for a minute to see if I can get them out. The battery terminals slid out of the plastic fine. They slide onto a couple of pins in here. There's an adjustment here, just like on the previous one. No components mounted on the back of the board. I can kind of see into the siren. It looks like this also uses a capacitive dropper for the power supply. I'm kind of curious to see if I can get any reading from the Geiger counter on this. I also want to pull this tin off. I'm going to have to desolder it. I'm going to go pause for a moment. I'll be back with the Geiger counter. All right, here it is. It has batteries in it. Let me turn it on. It's not accurate, it needs some work. But let's see if we can get it to respond. I'll zoom in on the meter a little bit. Looks like it pegged it. I'm holding the Geiger counter sensor near the smoke detector sensor. We can see it responding. I'm going to take this tin off and I'll be right back. I got the can off. Here's a closer look at it. Let's turn this back on and see what it does. A little bit. Turn the sensitivity up. Now I'm going to take the ionizer off and see what's underneath it.
Here's a chip that was under the sensor. I assume it's a dedicated chip, just like on the previous smoke detector. And here's the ionizer removed. Don't forget to subscribe for more, mash that like button, and comment below. Until next time, this is Uncle D from GBC Productions, signing off.